Hello. I am so glad to be with all of you here at Pacific Forest Trust, even over this kind of clunky video operation. Um, my name is Pam Marsh. I am an Oregon State Legislator. I'm a resident of Ashland, Oregon. I'm one of the owners of a business way up in the woods above Ashland, and I am a big fan of Pacific Forest Trust. Let me give you just a little bit of background. Way back in 1994, my husband and I moved ourselves and our four children from Palo Alto, California to a mountain many miles above the city of Ashland. As it turned out, the landscape um, that we joined was later to become part of the Cascade Siskiyou National Monument. You may know the monument was established by President Clinton. It was expanded in the final days of the Obama administration. And it is the only monument created in the country because of enormous biodiversity. It turns out that the conversion of multiple mountain ranges creates exceptional biodiversity with flora and fauna that compete with any combination found any place in the world. So I have had the opportunity for 26 years to live in or around this extraordinary forest. But our forest is endangered. And the dangers come from a couple of different sources. First, they are political because we have a presidential administration which is trying its best to ruin our wild places. But secondly, and even more insidiously, they come from the signs of climate disruption, which we see clearly. Here in the rural parts of the world, you see climate disruption in front of you in, in the form of habitats that have been changed and disrupted. You see them in the form of drought, not every year, but certainly on a long-term pattern. We see them in the form of cyclonic storms that take out 26 inch trees overnight. We see it in the form of snowpack that we can't rely upon anymore for our water sources. And perhaps most frighteningly, we see it in the form of smoke and fire, summer after summer after summer. And that's where Pacific Forest Trust comes in. We are a resilient community and we have organizations and efforts to protect our monument and to address climate change. But we just can't do this alone. Pacific Forest Trust has come into our community, has preserved landscapes not far from where I'm recording this um, to make sure that those forests remain stable for many years to come. The, the political acumen of Pacific Forest Trust has served our legislature well, helping us to understand what the economic models are that can reward landowners and serve the public good. Over time, I have been exceptionally grateful to Pacific Forest Trust for the conservation activities, but also, most importantly, for helping us recognize a path forward, a way to interrupt the otherwise inexorable path of climate change. Pacific Forest Trust, let me just say, you rock. I wish I was with all of you there in person, but if not, I am so grateful for this opportunity to say thank you.